The city of Corpus Christi and emergency teams have been monitoring Nicholas over the last 48 hours. Mayor Paulette Wajardo joins us live with the city's response and message to, the, to this afternoon. Uh, good afternoon, Mayor. It's good to see you. What can you tell us about uh, current conditions right now and preps? What are you hearing? Hi, good afternoon. So the city of Corpus Christi um, has activated our emergency operations center. We are proactively working with our residents. Yesterday, we handed out 1,600 sandbags. Um, we continue to stay in touch with our residents via the um, reverse alert system that we use. Um, and, and we're just watching very closely. Uh, do you have any uh, advice or any kind of hot spots you want to remind uh, people here in town about? We know this is not a hurricane. This is a tropical storm, but still, as we mentioned earlier, it's a good time to kind of go through maybe your hurricane checklist and make sure you have what you need. Right. Yes. Yes. And I would also encourage people if they if they have any questions or they're not sure about, you know, what's happening around the city regarding the storm, we encourage them and or we we basically we, we leave our, our our door open here at the city. They can call 826 City. That's 826 2489. But we ask everyone to remember the three P's. We ask you to safeguard people pets and property. So um, for example, our solid waste department, we continue services with trash. We ask you not to set out your uh, trash cans like this evening, wait until tomorrow morning because any kind of flooding waters can knock those over. Um, I also wanna remind people that if they're a part of the Meals and Wheels program, we've already given out over 3,000, delivered over 3,000 meals to those people in that program. But if you have questions about that, again, you can please call our 826 city phone line. Um, and we just want to make sure that everyone stays safe, take alternate routes, don't be out on the streets if you don't have to be. Um, and, and remember, you know, turn around, don't drown. Is the Emergency Operations Center open? Are you uh, talking with uh, other city leaders, uh, other people here in the Coastal Bend about what they're planning for? And y'all are y'all all in agreement or in line with uh, the steps you're taking right now to keep everybody safe? I'm sorry, I couldn't hear I couldn't hear you. Yes, I was wondering about the emergency operations center. Is that something that's activated at this time or are people yes. just on standby? Yes, it is. Yes, it was activated this morning at 8 a.m. And so we are um, in constant communication with our EOC, but we have all emergency protocols in place. And Everyone on standby, we have um, emergency vehicles um, in case uh, we need to rescue anyone in, in case of any kind of flooding. Um, so yes, everything's in place and, and we are absolutely working as a team. And so far, everyone has been doing an amazing job in being ready. You mentioned the phone number for the city. Uh, is there uh, an email uh, or something along those lines? I know we get updates from the city. I know that's something that people can sign up for. Do you recommend they go there and get the constant updates you're, you're uh, sending out? Yes, they can absolutely go there. I would, I would um, register and that's the cctexas.com. And then you'll see a tab there to uh, receive alerts. And if I'm correct, there is also a tab there for reverse alerts. I think you just said that. Reverse alert. Okay, yes. Perfect. And that will go straight to a telephone. They'll leave a message on your phone and or send a text. Uh, Mayor, we know you're going to be very busy today. Uh, just keeping track of this. As we mentioned, it's just a tropical storm. It's not a hurricane, uh, but we do appreciate your time. We hope we can visit with you Absolutely. later on in the evening. Uh, be safe out there. Thank you so much again for your time. Thank you.